Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple code. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In a React learning series, in last video we have seen how we can insert a delete button in a child component and when click on this button, how we can remove this from the parent component means we learn a rising of event from the child component and handling of event at the parent component in react now in this video we have a different situation i want to add a reset button at top of this counter you see i want to add a button it's called reset at the home counter remember that home counter i am not adding at the counter i am adding at the home counter so i create here a button btn dot btn you can say primary dot btn sm dot m2 tab so here we have this and i set it to reset and its error is coming because I declare it outside the div so cut and paste inside a div like this so we have this button I save it and I have a reset button at top of this now here I want to use this class so class is not coming btn primary btn primary and save it again i see we have a reset button here at the top but we do not have a margin so i need margin also m2 again we have reset button so whenever i want to click on this reset button this should be turned to all zero like if i increment like this like this so whenever i click on reset button all this should be goes to zero that i want so try to handle it so whenever i click on this so i say on click here and i pass this dot handle reset event okay save it and i create if event handler here and i say handle reset equal to and i create arrow function here and here in this arrow function uh, i want to reset all so for that again i create a constant counter and here i say this dot state dot counters dot map and we say that uh, c equal to c dot value dot count equal to equal to zero like this we should reset to all value to zero then i set this dot set state and here i try to put this counter so i try to reset the value all the counter to zero remember and one by one we set all to zero and we try to click on this and i'm not having a zero here the problem is something is wrong so what i do here i try to create something else here and i try to return c from here that equal to zero you see i just initialize equal to zero and return it to c now i try to refresh it again and i click on reset button and you see there is no 
nothing is happening on this nothing but if i see an inspect window and i debug this i try to debug this click on component you see that here we have the value state 0 then click on 2 we have this count property 11 here you see so whenever I click on reset button nothing is happening here you see because because here we have a two states first state we have of this you see we have this state click on this and we have this 0 0 0 0 all why because I click on this I refresh it once again and you see when I click on counter and I click here you see initially I have a 11 0 0 0 which we are passing here whenever I click on reset button you see click on reset and then I click here and you see it become 0 this 11 is become 0 remember that but whenever I click on this you see the prop value is 11 here we have the 0 value which we are passing but this property under the counter is not changing remember that this reset button is working fine no problem at all it resetting this value but the problem is here that this component home counter have a state this state in this state we have a count property to 11 whenever I click on this reset button this reset button you see it do the same thing which I want it reset my state property you see when I click on it and you see it become 0 if I refresh it if I refresh it and I click on home counter component you will see it is 11 right now but whenever I click on this and I try to see it again you see it's a 0 so this function is working properly nothing is problematic here it's a good one You're doing fine but problem is there this counter have it on its state you see it is state is there and this state is maintained by the count value which we are passing and this state only execute once when this counter execute so whenever i click on this reset button when i click on reset button then these counter state property does not execute that means this value which we are passing here it pass only when the component is called first time so second time when I click on reset button this property does not execute so this count property does not change so this happen only by a one concept of react that is in this application we do not have single source of truth remember that single source of truth or single source of control that means in this application we have two components this component counter and home component both the component have their own states variable it is not possible to remove or change the state of this counter component by home counter same it is not possible by counter to change the state of home counter why because in react only same component can change its own state because these states are private to the component so the problem rise the problem is in this application we do not have single source of truth do not have single source of control or truth means we have to remove the state of this counter 
component and we have to link this particular counter component with the state of parent counter state means this state we have to pass here to this component so whenever in react we control the child component with the state of parent component is called controlled component so what is the control component and how we can solve this problem of single source of truth or single source of control we will see next two video in next video we will see what is control component and next to next video we will see how we can solve this problem whenever i click on reset button this all should reset and change to zero and this is only possible when i will make this application with the concept of single source of truth means whenever i will link this state to this component state means i need to remove the internal state local state of this counter component and i will link this child component with the parent component and whenever we control child component with the state of parent component that component is called controlled component that means this counter child component will become controlled component what is control component we will see in next video how we can make this reset button workable that we'll see in next to next video so that's all in this video in this video we we'll learn how, what is single source of truth or single source of control and we also learn how we can make this reset button but right now this reset button is not working in next video we will see control component then we will make this reset button workable with the concept of control component i think you learn something from this video if really you learn something please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video